After the pandemic forced students to learn remotely, Shannon Stalker says her two kids missed the interaction and were ready to return to the classroom at Oldham County Schools. They both like school. They love their teachers. They love to learn. In November, the district made wearing masks optional in school buildings, although recommends them for staff, students, and visitors. Stalker says there needs to be a mandate. COVID could be fatal to our daughter. Her child has brain cancer and recently finished chemo. Even though she's isolating at school and her teachers have been accommodating, she's worried her children may come in contact with someone who has the virus. We are just relying on the efficacy of her masks. Um, and we are hopeful that she's going to be OK. Um, but if she's not, I mean, I would fully hold the school system and the board and the superintendent, superintendent accountable. A statement from the Oldham County School District reads, we are continually reviewing state, local, and school data regarding our COVID-19 policies. We have the ability to require masks at individual schools for up to two weeks in order to prevent an outbreak. Over 500 people have signed a petition to reinstate the mask policy at Oldham County Schools. Parents say it's necessary to protect the health and safety of everyone here. Vulnerable kids, uh, medically fragile kids, disabled kids, and their family members and those who love them have a right to a safe education just as much as every other child. Kristen Worthen says her kids haven't returned from holiday break. It's inevitable that it's going to come home into my household and risk my child who has serious health concerns. Parents say they won't stop fighting until masks are required. I would like to see that statement so that children who are vulnerable or from families with individuals who are vulnerable hear the message loud and clear, you matter. Jamie Mays, WLKY News.